A NASA scientist has warned that statistically we are due for an extinction level event that we are absolutely not prepared for. We are going to tell you everything you need to know right now on IO. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Charlotte. Welcome back to the channel. So just yesterday I was thinking, wow, we haven't done an end of the world story in a while. And bam, like clockwork, yet another warning of mankind's impending doom. <sighs> Here we go. On Monday, at the annual American Geophysical Union meeting, a NASA scientist named Joseph Newth warned that if there was an extinction level event, we would be pretty much screwed. He said the following, The biggest problem, basically, is that there is not a hell of a lot we can do about it at the moment. But on the other hand, they are the extinction level events. Things like dinosaur killers. They are 50 to 60 million years apart, essentially. You could say of course we are due, but it's a random course at this point. So all of this sounds super scary, but it doesn't necessarily mean that there's an asteroid on the way. But if there was a surprise asteroid, there's not much we can do about it at this point. One time in 2014, a comet that came way too close to Earth for comfort was discovered 22 months beforehand. The comet almost collided with Mars. Did you know that it takes five years to launch a spacecraft? Okay, so who is Joseph Newth and why should we believe him? Well, he is a senior scientist at the Goddard Space Flight Center. He's got several awards under his belt and he's been doing this for like 38 years, so I think it's safe to say that he knows what he's talking about. All of this sounds really unsettling, but fear not, NASA is taking precautions. If you don't know already, NASA has set up a planetary defense office to counter such an event. I'm kind of confused as to why this hasn't happened sooner. I think we all assume that NASA would have our back if the Earth was ever in trouble, but I guess better late than never. The chances of a cataclysmic event are still very very small, but we should still be prepared. Newth wants NASA to build two spacecraft for exactly that purpose. One of them he calls an interceptor rocket that's capable of carrying a nuclear bomb, and another is an observer spacecraft. Newth maintained that he and his co-author's opinion did not speak for NASA's administrators, and doing all these things would require a request from Congress for their approval. Still though, it seems like this should be something we have in our back pocket. So what exactly are the chances of this happening anytime soon? Well, in a statement to the New York Post, NASA said the following. To date, approximately 95% of potentially hazardous asteroids and comets larger than 1 km in size that could pose danger to Earth have been found. Additionally, there are no detected impact threats for the next 100 years. Alright, I guess we can relax now. 100 years is a long time. Okay. Alrighty guys, it is time to respond to some of your comments. Zainab K said, what happened to the woman who said she was having Jesus? Last I heard she still thinks she's pregnant with Jesus. She appeared on Dr. Phil and he apparently recommended a psychologist to her because according to her mother, she's a compulsive liar. But I'm not really sure, maybe she realized she wasn't pregnant with Jesus? Next comment comes from Digital Diamond. Why does IO remind me of Most Amazing Top 10? I've said it before, but just for the people who don't know, IO is affiliated with Most Amazing Top 10. We all film in the same studio and we're owned by the same person. Ginger XDDD said, This news channel is honestly so great. It feels like I watch their videos more for the people and their personalities rather than the news. Thank you so much for saying that, Ginger. You gotta think of IO like a commentary channel. We take trending news stories and make them relatable. IO is kinda like your news savvy friend that you go to to hear about the world. Okay guys, that is all for now. Thank you for your comments as usual. and. I will see you in the next IO video.